Imagine that tankers have their own special forces unit. A tank crew that can respond to any threat and tackle any issue. A crew that doesn't depend on the situation, but wins rain or shine. No highly specialized vehicle will suit such elite warriors. They need a unique, versatile tool for victory. A new generation tank designed for special operations. A vehicle such as the Concept 1B, the main reward of the new ranked battle season. Let's find out what makes the concept so special by experiencing a day in the life of its commander. The day he decided to roll out in this tank for the first time, he thought it was a classic heavy tank. He equipped it with improved hardening, went to Ruinburg, and decided to visit the town to check out the tank's armor. Put simply, there's armor, but not everywhere. You should study it to expose it correctly. The turret front not only looks like a collaboration of Picasso and Pythagoras, but it can also withstand almost any hit. The vehicle is hard to smoke out from the terrain, but it's possible. Behind the triplex is a turret elevation. When it's hit, you'll often receive damage. But the next time the opponent targeted the triplex, the concept's commander elevated the gun held down the right mouse button and started swaying the hull. There, the enemy's reloading. However, in the heat of battle, he didn't notice the enemy nearby. The turret sides withstand hits only when looking directly at the enemy. They are penetrated when shot from the sides. But sometimes there's strength and weakness. Aiming at vulnerable spots on such a small turret takes a long time. A very long time. After that, the commander assessed the situation and realized it would be hard to affect the battle outcome by staying in one position. There were fewer opponents on the flank, and the battle wasn't going to win itself. It was time to get aggressive. To do so, the tank has not only a sturdy turret, but also 120 millimeters of side armor at a right angle. Just like the E-75, the concept easily survives urban skirmishes. And no one really expects an American tank to have such sides. This allows the commander to slightly overexpose the side and bait opponents into non-penetrating hits to the side or wheels. The E-75's commander had no clue there was almost 300 millimeters of effective armor hidden behind the concept's wheel at that angle. And that would prove to be the Germans' last mistake. The sides also have some nuances. When side scraping, the concept shows the front of the engine compartment. It's easy to penetrate the tank there, but not everyone will understand right away that they need to shoot at such an unusual weak spot. Remember, the sharper the angle, the harder it is to hit the engine compartment. There's another vulnerability in the upper hull. It can be penetrated even at a sharp angle, but it's small and can't easily be seen. In that battle, due to the timely help from allies, the enemy didn't discover this concept's Achilles heel. The other players on the enemy's team did more. While the concept was clearing out the town with other heavy tanks, the opponents broke through on the other flank. The enemy's medium tanks and TDs surrounded the remaining heavy tanks in the town. It seemed the battle had been decided. In that difficult situation, the commander learned about another nuance of his tank. The frontal armor. 
Both the upper and lower Glacis plates can only withstand hits from Tier 7 and some Tier 8 vehicles when at a right angle. Side scraping helps, but not that much. The hull front is reliable, only at a very sharp angle. He used an embankment as protection from medium tanks. Rolling slightly onto it, he significantly increases the effective armor of the upper glacis plate. And the negative 10 degree gun depression angle prevented it from becoming an AA gun. The WZ continued pushing in. The concept went head on against the enemy and kept it cool. He made a move atypical of a heavy tank. He rapidly turned the hull right before the enemy shot, denying the Chinese tank commander a hit. The battle wasn't over yet. There were an AMX-1390 and a Borsig trying to get at him from two sides. The 1390 that was going to strike the concept's side suddenly found itself in front of an enraged heavy. The concept just had to perform its trademark battle dance to the beat of the drum, leaving the Frenchman no chance. Only the German Borsig remained. Finishing it off was a matter of technique. The concept acted composed and assured. With high explosive shells loaded, it used all of its shell bouncing moves one by one and carried the battle. But it was a hard victory that could have easily turned into failure. The commander noticed that he survived, not only due to the concept's situational armor, but also due to the main ace up the American sleeve. To use this ace, he decided not to act as he would in a usual battle. This time, there were a lot of powerful tier 10 heavies, and it would take too long for the concept to destroy them. He decided to trust his allied super heavies in containing them and look at the problem from another side. Look at how medium tanks roll out at the flanks. The M46 Patton, E50, Object 430, and Concept 1B. Yes, it's a heavy, but the engine compartment is that big to avoid making it inconvenient to shoot back. Well, for this reason as well. But it's that big so that everyone knows it has an extremely powerful engine. The 21 horsepower per ton quickly accelerates the tank to its maximum of 45 kilometers per hour. It turns corners easily and doesn't lose its vigorous spirit on any terrain. And if it's equipped with a turbocharger, it rolls forward, not almost, but literally like a medium tank. In all aspects, specific power, maximum forward speed, and even maximum reverse speed. Also, its hull traverse speed, coupled with the side armor, enables the shell deflecting moves of sturdy medium tanks. A commander who feels the aiming and reload time of opponents can rapidly turn the hull right before the shot. The concept is capable of getting into position with medium tanks to win the battle before it even begins. The diverse gameplay of medium tanks is available to the concept, so you can freely choose both the flank and position depending on the vehicle setup and battle situation. As one of the most agile heavy tanks, the concept will always find its prey, and only a few will be able to survive. That's because it has everything to cause damage. The nice gun reliably dismantles the enemy from any distance. Although the tank is not as accurate as the British cavalry, it doesn't make you fight at close range. The gun stabilization and aiming time allow it to avoid taking damage like medium tanks. Poke out from cover only to fire and don't give the enemy time to respond. That's why it's worth improving the stabilization as much as possible and also because it will make aiming at particularly difficult targets easier. Targets that the normal penetration of 258 mm and good penetration of 310 won't be enough for. With all that, the concept can easily spend some time in battle in a safe position, lobbing high-velocity heat shells and even more high-velocity APCR shells at enemies. Firing at moving targets is pure fun. We checked. 
When skirmishing with a heavy tank or a TD, the concept can often trade two shots for every enemy shot. The reload time needs and should be improved to eight seconds. This helps you take down enemy vehicles quickly and not let them catch you while reloading. Good damage per minute, a comfortable gun, the speed of a medium tank. Throw in the 400 meter view range and low silhouette and you can ask, why is it a heavy tank? That's because it has armor and HP. However you look at it, the concept is still a heavy tank. This is a versatile warrior for a new generation that can respond to any threat in battle. This vehicle is played the way its commander wants it. The atypical armor provides an opportunity to push forward or hold the position by using both the turret or sides. But you won't be able to stay in one place for long as the acceleration and top speed encourage flanking maneuvers. And the gun parameters will make hitting the enemy's side the last thing they see in battle. The concept changes cover quickly and easily. The gameplay resembles both the Patton and the M103. It can side scrape like the E75 while accelerating better than the E50. The tank can knock opponents down and avoid being hit in ways available to heavy and medium tanks. The Concept 1B is an extension of its commander's hands and mind. This is a new type of a versatile heavy tank that can do anything when it's in good hands. In the hands of a tanker who completes ranked battles.